Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of R&K Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. Well, this week, I'm going to focus on creating custom thread charts. Now, I've already done a Project of the Week explaining how, but I've had several questions, so we're going to go through this, and we're going to look at how would I catalog the thread colors I own so that when I bring up a thread chart and have colors match and everything, it's to what's in my inventory and not what's in, say, the whole uh, 360 colors of Floriani or if you use another brand. So the first thing we're going to do to create a custom thread chart. Now, first of all, let's talk about the thread chart to begin with. When you start with your Floriani software, you can go to Tools, come down to the word Preferences, left mouse click, and when you left mouse click on Preferences, you have where it's going to ask you what color do you want, what thread do you want to use. Now I use Floriani polyester and I assume everybody wants to use beautiful Floriani thread. However, you may have some of Brandex hanging around. You might want to create a thread chart or use up. So as you can see, we've got everybody's thread in here. So whether you're with Robinson Anton, Madeira, Isafil, Isacord, Sulky, Hemingworth, etc., you could pick your preferred thread chart. But a lot of times what we would like to pick is a thread chart that includes the inventory we have in our stash. So let's look at that. Now I'm going to come up again to Tools, and this time I'm going to go to Thread Chart Creator. Now the first thing is I want to name this, and I'm going to name this Kathy's On Hand Floriani, and whatever you want to call it. Now that I have named the thread chart, I'm going to say import. Now I'm going to import from the Floriani poly thread chart because it makes it so much easier than me trying to create all these colors. So now from the Floriani poly thread chart, I have written down or I have an inventory. I'm using my thread app that I can get free. Remember, Floriani has a thread app, a needle app, and a stabilizer app for both iPhone and Android. So what you can do is you can download these and you can keep your thread inventory in there as well as your wish list. So I have my colors written down and I want to create a thread chart that has my inventory in it. So I'm going to come down to the question mark right here at the lower left hand corner and I'm going to click on it and I'm going to type in color 900. Find that. That is black. Import it. Again, I'm going to go here. I'm going to type in, I have color 800 here. Find. That is pure white. Import it. And I'm going to go through and I am going to go through my thread chart and I'm going to import and I'm going to continue to do this until I have all the colors in my inventory in here. So all I do is find import and I can continue to do this until I have everything done. So I'm just going to put in a couple of more 749 find import let's come back let's go to 753 find import so you get the idea now once I've done this I'm going to exit my import color and you can see I've created my thread chart if I click on any color it's going to tell me the name and the number It'll give me the values that are in it, the red, the green, the blue, that's your little values in it. Now if there was a color, maybe I imported black twice or I've run out, I can remove that color from my thread chart by just clicking remove or delete. Now I want to save this Now and find color by code also. After I've imported, this is not available until I have colors in here. So now I can find 
colors by code so I could type in the number and find all the information. Once I've done this, I want to save this thread chart. Now, do I want to save the color palette, Kathy on hand, Floriani? Yes, I want to save that. Now I'm going to exit. So now let me go back to my tools and preferences. Now, instead of selecting Floriani Polly, I'm going to select Kathy's hands on. OK, so now the thread chart available to me for matching and everything is going to be that color chart. Now you can see I've got all colors down here that I could pick from. However, if I bring in a design, let's bring in something. Of course, I have very limited colors. Let's bring in a design. And notice I had created this design. I saved it as a WAF. Excuse me. Let's bring in a design that I have not saved as a WAF. Uh, WAF is a Walter Augustus Floriani. That is merely an information file. So it's going to hold all the original information no matter what. It's going to hold my original information. That's why I really like using uh, saving everything first is a WAF because that's real important to do so because when you do that then you know that when you go to save it to a format especially if you have more than one, mach one machine then I could save it to a PEZ for my dream or destiny I could save it to a EXP for my 880 I could save it to a VIP for my epic so you get the idea that we can save to anything so I can pick a design in here let's just pick something that's not a WAF file and of course this is, I would pick a one color design but notice what it's going to do is I put in my 247, it's going to match to the closest match in that color palette. That's what it's going to do. So now that we have done that, let's go back here. Let's close this. And I am going to close my whole program down. And I am going to reopen it. Let's open back up our Floriani Total Control. Let's close this and let's file open and let's look here at our preferences. Notice I've got my Kathy hands-on Floriani so it will hold in here until I change it and the reason I closed it down and opened it up to show you that is because it's really frustrating if you don't remember you've done something and you're trying to get somewhere else there you go. I just want you to know it is there and that's how you would it would hold until I went back and changed it to my Floriani Polly. So I would go back and change it to Floriani Polly and say OK. And I can save it to lot, several because I have made several in here. If you'll notice I've got if I come back to color match on loading I've got Kathy's favorite. Kathy's top drawer, Kathy's basics. So I have created different thread charts in here depending on need. You might be working with a series of designs. Uh, maybe you're doing a quilt and you want to make sure it's all in the same colors. So you could pick the colors that you're using, make that color palette, and only work with that color palette. You can also get to your color palette from over here. Notice we have a icon here on the bottom left hand corner select thread chart I can also go here to select my thread palette now notice what happens I'm gonna come Kathy hands on Floriani notice when I pick from here now I told my preferences to color match to what I have in stock on loading now if the only colors I want to see in my thread chart are the ones that are enclosed in it that I've put in there, then I'm going to come here and select the thread chart down here. Now notice this is the only colors I have available because that's all I added into my Kathy um, on hand Floriani thread. So now this is all I'm limited to working with so I don't have to look at all the other colors or deal with all the other colors. Whereas if I had just set as my preferences color match on loading, 
all that's going to do is when I bring in a design, it's going to match on loading. Let's come over here. Um, not you. Let's go to my Anita Good Designs. Let's go to Autumn Applique. Now, I'm very limited for colors here, so let's see what we've got. Now I'm going to bring in this wreath. Now fortunately I do have some golds and some greens, but notice it's only using the colors that are here. You can see the original. Now I didn't have a, the closest match it could get to this green was the darker black. I would have thought maybe it would have picked this green, but see the color value of this is a lot darker. So now you can see how it's only going to work with the colors that I have and I've picked my thread chart when I want to work with that way I'm going to pick from down here and that's going to load only those colors it's only going to utilize those colors as I'm loading these designs in so I hope you enjoyed this short quick little lesson on how to create your own thread charts I get this question almost everywhere I go I, can I create something with just the threads I own? Absolutely. And the nice thing about this is, let me one real quick look at this. What if you've got some Isocord left? What if you've got other colors left over at home? You can always, I'm going back to Floriani Poly, so I don't forget. If you go back to create a thread chart, if we come back here, let's say I had some Isocord left over. Then I would say, Kathy, Isocord. And then I would say, I want to do, I want to import colors. But what am I going to do here? I'm going to change this to Isocord. Now, when I work with the colors, I'm going to work with Isocord colors. There's my black. So you can see I can then make one for my Isocord. So even with your leftovers from your other thread brands that you have, you could create little thread charts and use those threads up because you want to concentrate on just using those. You could also create a thread chart that was mixed. Okay, right now I have this black. Let's import. Now I had plenty of Isocord black, but you know what? I've got some Madeira. Let's go with my Madeira here. And let's say I've got some, I don't know, we'll pick something. Let's import this. And let's import another Madeira. I don't have Madeira, so I don't know the colors to pick. So I'm just going to import some colors. So if you notice, now I've got a Madeira, I've got an Isocord, and you can see here it's showing me. So let's go ahead and import. Let's pick another thread chart. So note it does not have to just be. Let's go to my Janome palette. Okay, so let's import this. Let's pick here. Let's get a white. Now as you notice, my thread chart's growing. So let's say this is Kathy's. It's not going to be my Isocord. It's going to be my Eclectic thread chart. So now that I've got Kathy's eclectic thread chart, I can save it. If I don't save it, it's not going to be real. So I'm going to say yes, exit. So now I could change this to Kathy's eclectic. Let's go to that one right here. Now with my eclectic thread chart, notice as I hover, it's given me their numbers. So you can see it's all the ones, but this is my eclectic thread chart that I'm using up. So you can create your thread chart multiple ways, individual brands, what's in that top drawer that you want to get rid of, and that's why I have one that says Kathy's top drawer. It's all kinds of stuff. So it's just stuff I want to get rid of. I might use it to stitch out samples to see how something's going to stitch. I might use it for a charity quilt, whatever, but I have that one. So I'm looking forward to seeing you again next week. I hope you enjoyed this week on the Thread Chart Creator.